If you're an artist and you love the Jaguars, the chances are football might just inspire your work. And because one local graffiti artist is pretty good at what he does, he was invited to showcase his work in the form of a mural in downtown Jacksonville that's getting a lot of attention. First Coast News' Monica Garcia shares the story tonight. If you're a Jags fan, you probably know what owner Shad Khan looks like. But have you ever seen him like this? Painted in hues of Jaguar teal by local artist Clay Minsner. Like with his shirt and stuff, it's just completely freestyled. The image based off of this photo. Fun, loose, like kind of organic feel. By photographer Logan Bolt, featured in Boy Magazine's Jaguar issue. Let's, let's see if I can roll with this. It's Mr. Khan himself, looking at ease with a coconut drink in his hand. Perfect and a must. For Clay's newest art gig at this downtown warehouse, an art in itself, smack in the middle of Tailgate Central. But to me, it encompasses like downtown, what's been going on, and like with, you know, obviously the Jaguars and then Shad Khan, you know, just doing so much for the city. I was like, let's, let's do him. From then on, Clay focused on more likenesses, well liked in Jaguar Nation. I was like, yeah, let's do Tom Coughlin since we just got him back for the VP. And I was like, well, you let's use him as a like as the coach that, that he was. And then it was Mark Brunell and then it was Tony Baselli and now it's Fred Taylor and and hitting iconic Jacksonville Jaguar players. But it's not fully complete just yet. Jackson Deville will soon go up. Have any of the iconic people that are portrayed here reached out to you, seen it in reaction? Uh, not, not necessarily. I tagged Fred Taylor in it on Instagram and he like sent back uh, he just like, you know, wrote back like, oh, it looks great. I can't wait to see it in person. He's also hoping Shad Khan might stop by one random game day, maybe even with a floral drink in his hand. So, you know, a little bit of like business and party at the same time. But mostly he's hoping that fans will stroll on over. Monica Garcia, First Coast News on your side.